first deal with the regions so we can integrate and harmonize our regional approach and eventually to move on. So we agreed to have continental government one day, but now we must harmonize our, harmonize our practices and so on. Hence we have Rex, and it was the first meeting for this Rex to go and report. Excellent meeting. We reported harmonize our activities in Sati, because I went there and started to happen. So our report was well received, because we are looking for free movement of people and goods. And therefore, we have been started, are they moving freely? We have done certain instruments, then we had a privatized uh, agreement, and then the Now we went to talk about Monday and we reported. We were very happy to be here. How we are happy also to see Africa is moving on so that people can move freely. And Namibia is one day, people are saying they must come and teach them about how we treat our meat, mines. We are having very advanced uh, system of doing things. So that's why I'm coming for that very successful trip. I stopped in Rwanda on the way normally. Contrary to what you say, I go to 100 countries. Being a good manager, I think I will combine my trips. If I'm passing through a place and I'm going to New York, I stop in Senegal. Count that as one country. And then from there to New York. But economizing. So I stopped in uh, Kigali, invited by President on my way for the Liberation Day, they call it. And it was very moving. Very moving because the emotions of genocide and then to hold hands after that, to hold that country, not to talk anymore about about the race, it's going to be outlawed, and therefore people are moving in the same direction. Now we can stop talking about tribes, regions, which is now the current thing that, believe it or not, young people are the ones who are champions. So that is my report. You see, I hope you listen very carefully. I kept on saying with the government, the processes, systems, and institutions. By institutions, we are referring to courts. And we say we are going to have very independent courts. We don't interfere. Judiciary has spoken. I've just come back as you see we are meeting for the first time. And you also must have learned, contrary to what some of you say, I'm a very consolidated person. So I have to consult my colleagues. Here they are. And you 
hear from us. You should also realize that uh, what has been found web is not a crime that you committed as a minister. It was during that time when you were the governor. But we allowed the courts, independent courts, when the case was brought up, deal with it. We didn't interfere. We didn't say, don't touch our minister, but she's a minister, so for a crime or whatever she has done, it's a government. So, process is still on. I'm just coming back. We're going to consult with legal people. And then we announce ourselves. Since you are the active president, <laughs> let's do things systematically and methodically, please. I did say already that we believe in processes, systems, and institutions. And what I refer to institutions are the courts. And I did emphasize that the courts are independent. And therefore, the case was brought, tried, and she was found guilty. You wanted to try people in the seat. You wanted to be, be so-called be, wish to be grabbed as a woman. It would be a lawless society. Mm. So I hope you are happy. You are saying ACC is toothless. So I think it's for you to now go and have editorials now to correct yourself. I'm telling you, you become enemies. I'm going right now from here. You are going to consult with her? Not consult her to go and see, see her and say, be strong. This is what we are fighting for. You, you went for justice to hear the outcome. You got it. Okay. okay. Are you saying if a person is your friend, your colleague, when they are arrested, they put in jail, you don't even visit them? That's what you do? Arrested yeah. or sick or not, you go to a better position. Country which is Pan Africa, appreciating what other people have done for us. And therefore, Namibia is welcoming Africans, welcoming investors. Of course, sometimes we are tougher on, on Africans because of what we subtract. Some of them are criminals. And so on. before they are tried in the courts, we found them as guilty, they are criminals. But still, Namibia is an open society. People admire what, how we do things in Namibia. So definitely, we would like now our business people to seize the opportunity. They think Namibia is very good business people. They are experienced, like the meat issue in West Africa and so on. They don't have meat industry or fishing industry. We have fishing industry, one of the best, well managed, and they want to learn from us. Uh, they were also saying, we are saying we must also come and advise, yeah, advise them on the mining sector. So doors are open. We are unlocking the doors for you as politicians. Now it's open to the business people. Go and ask them now. Now that this has happened, are you going to seize the opportunity? We don't rush things. What, what do you want me to say now? Really, I answered you. We do things methodically and uh, systematically. You follow procedure. You do. You do consult. What do you want really me to say now? What could be your answer? Because I don't understand the issue. I'm not in I that answer, position. I gave you the answers. was found guilty in the court, in a competent court of law. There is no way that she can justify sitting as an executive member of, of government. So I was a little bit taken aback by the president when he said that this person did this act while he was not a minister. I think it was a wrong statement to, to have come from the president. To say that he was consulting, that's normal in political life. Nobody that runs the country, no, the party, no, on, on my own. Every leader consult. But for him to have created, he, he has created an aroma to try to, de to differentiate the individual and the time of the position. It's the same individual.
who did that. Both, both the act was, con was done in a, in a time when the individual was in public office. He could have had that, he could have used that argument if that person was a private person. That person was never a private person. That act was conducted while he was governor. That's why she would be, she, 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 she's being convicted because of the public nature of the office that she holds. So I think she has done the honorable thing. A little bit too late, I don't think, um, from the reports that I was, was reading, because I was outside in the peripheries, as I'm telling you, I, I, I think that the president should have acted earlier than her own resignation, because it was a foregone that if you are convicted in a competent court of law, even if you are going with the legal process of appealing, you cannot serve public office. There must be ethics in public office. She's a great sister of mine, a great friend of mine personally, but rules are rules. <coughs> if you're running society, you must run society on the rules. So she has, she, she has come a little bit too late to her own rescue, because I read an article by the Sun saying that she won't be, I don't know how authentic that is, but the president should have acted, calling her in and telling her that. The government can no longer take it. You see, if we create a president where we are saying all of us are not guilty until proven guilty. Now, when you are proven guilty, there is no justification to serve public office. So it's it's a it's a sad case, but we should all learn from it. All public individuals, it, it happens, and it happens now with the vice president of Argentina who is serving 16 years in prison. So it is happening with more and more prof high-profile people. No one is is, is is beyond corruption. Corruption starts with the big fishes. And for as long as the big fishes are going to free, what pains me more on this matter is that those that have stolen 600 million of the GIP, GIPF money are running scot free. The prosecutor general is saying she doesn't have evidence to prosecute these people. Katrina has changed the list. It's wrong that she has done. In fact, my, it's my, even my own party members have been discriminated because of, of political allegiance. What, that is wrong. But Katrina's offense comparing to 600 million stolen in this country, and I'm surprised that members of the media, you have, besides the Republican, you were the only person who wrote a story about the press conference that I had about the PG, that the PG, the PG is not working in the interest of the country by saying that there's no evidence to prosecute over 600 million. Those that have taken SME money, what are we saying about it? Those that have really taken the loot, those that have increased the tender of the oil storage facility, those that have increase all these tenders in this country are lying idle. Yes, Katrina has taken her page. Today, she was wrong, she was convicted. But what about the major cases in this country? Why are we quiet about it? Let's start with the prosecutor general. She must walk the talk. Tell this nation, why, why is there no evidence? If people have borrowed money, and the companies are known, individuals are known, and yet you are telling us you, you are not able to prosecute over 500 million. 600 million that could have serviced urban areas with lighting, that would have given water to people, that would have given sanitation, is going unaccounted for. All the prosecutor general says she has no evidence. What evidence do you need if I borrowed, if Sakyo Zikela borrowed money and he never paid back and he's no, and he has become a wealthy man? Go after that, those assets. So we are, PDM is not in support. We have already spoken to lawyers about the case of, 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 of the prosecutor general. We have been advised that it is a very tricky ground because the evidence that we need to prosecute the prosecutor general is the same evidence that the prosecutor general has. So if we get that evidence and she says those evidence is not enough, it will weaken our case. We have already tried to take this matter on, but on the public domain, we will not keep quiet. That yes, Katrina is, has gone because she has done a mistake, but those that have stolen 500 millions, millions of dollars, they are being promoted over and over. Some of them are sitting in key government senior office or positions. And in the next few weeks, we will expose them one by one. We will expose them one by one, calling them by name. But because we know that who has really practiced corruption in this country. But today, people are mum over it. Katrina, yes, she has done wrong. She's taking her bite. The rest of them are seated in front of us, pretending as if they are the, the biggest saints. We know what they have done to this country. We know the money that they have taken. Yet they are being protected by the system. And the prosecutor general says there is no, there is no evidence. What evidence does she need? And she must come out in the public domain. I don't know why you have not even asked the prosecutor general to explain herself to the country. How can you tell me that people took 600 million and there's no evidence to prosecute? What is that? The biggest joke. Thank you.